Google unveiled on Wednesday its first ever AI agent that can take actions on the web. So this is the TechCrunch article on this topic. It came out today. So what this is crazy is this allows it to use a browser basically the same way a human could. Click buttons, fill out forms, etc. So one thing it can do is create a shopping cart from a grocery store based on a list, okay? So it's currently a little bit slow. There were five second delays at times. And it's not allowed to check out or fill out credit card information. So that's a fair um, restriction placed by Google. So it says, because Gemini is now taking actions on a user's behalf, it's important to take this step by step. Because, yeah, I mean, this could expand exponentially. You could just give it a very general task, like buy groceries for tonight. It'll find the best grocery store, the best delivery option, will make the recipe, buy it, check out, etc. And of course, it could perform much more complex work tasks. So let's check out Google's actual website here. So this was released today, December 11th. So they're calling it Gemini 2.0. Now, a few crazy parts of this video, it shows Gemini 2.0 able to use the camera on a smartphone, point it at some sort of art sculpture. And then if you progress through this video, Gemini actually tells you the artist that made the sculpture, what it means, etc. It can even analyze a video game just by looking at the screen and then advise the best strategy. So, I mean, that could get interesting with cheating in video games. And then it can be attached to a robot to play Jenga. Interesting. Now, I think this is really the beginning of the next level of AI. So AI agents, especially one that can navigate the web, click things for you, etc., unlock insane opportunity. I mean, think about it. You could have a thousand of these things running at the same time, completing all sorts of different web-based tasks for you. You can have it split testing thousands of variables at once for a business. And this technology is really in its infancy. But Google, one of the biggest tech companies in the world, is putting a stake in the ground and saying, we're building this. It sounds like this first version is not going to be that useful in reality, because like it said in the article, there's often five second delays, which is a long time. But fast forward six months, and this type of AI agent is going to be completely changing the workspace for people. So this is something I'm going to be following very, very closely. And I think this speaks to the next phase of AI, which is going to be where you just give it one objective and the AI is not only going to figure out all the steps to accomplish that objective, but it's also going to actually execute and do all those steps. Like, for example, ChatGPT right now can be used for complex reasoning tasks, finding answers to things, writing ad copy, but it can't actually execute for you. It still involves a lot of human interaction. With this AI agent, it can potentially execute entire projects without any of your involvement. And there's definitely going to be versions of this where it's allowed to put in credit card information, it's allowed to check out, it can do all sorts of things, real transactions. So this is coming, and I think it's very important to prepare yourself right now. Until next time, I'll see you later.